Hello, hello. I am back with another video. Y'all see, before we get started, you see I done cut them sides, right? <laughs> After all of that that I went to, I had a photo shoot that was coming up and I wasn't about to go look crazy on photo shoot, so I got my sides cut. So you know what? I decided this just I'm just going to not have sides no more because um, I'm not going through that no more. I'm not doing that all over again. I was trying to let this hair grow and blend in with that, but it didn't work out like that for me because my schedule crazy, photo shoots and meeting people and <laughs> and being on panels and stuff looking, uh -uh. I don't have time for that. So I'm not going to have no um, sides, y'all. But I still have my edges, though. <laughs> I still got my edges. And I think this here makes me look like I have some kind of edge about myself, feminine energy. You know, with my sides, you know, low. I think it looks like I have a little edge, you know. Feminine, but with an edge. I don't know. That's my thought. And guess what? That's what we gonna roll with. Anyway, <laughs> the purpose of this video is to talk about... What am I talking about today? I got so many um, videos that I need to do. Let's see. Oh! Okay, I'm, I'm back. The purpose of this video is to talk about what I mean when I say open up. I did a couple of videos already that I, when I said I'm not talking about falling in love. And then I did a video about um, you talk too much. And I often say, you know, you got to remain mysterious. And so I wanted to do this particular video and really shine light on what do I mean when I say open up because this is the part of feminine energy that a lot of people don't talk about maybe they don't think this here part matters but i feel as though this is the biggest the biggest piece of the puzzle okay so when i say open up what i'm saying is allow a person to experience you and how you feel not about your past we're talking about like right now and maybe your future, but not your past, not all the hurt that you've been through in your past or even the happiness you've been through in your past because all that's gone anyway. Talk about the feel good right now moments when I say open up. So we got to look at it like this here. We often talk about the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine principles. Like for example, a man Let's say a man call you on the phone. A man is more action driven, more about showing you, more about, you know, the the physical, you know. He is the protector, he's the provider, he's the leader. So he's in that zone of masculine energy all the time, you know, probably working all the time, right? So let's say, for example, masculine energy calls you on the phone and he says, hi, what are you doing? See that word doing? That's masculine energy. That's what he, he can relate to. That's what he understands. What are you doing? Because I'm masculine energy and I'm always doing something, right? So you, you're feminine energy though. You're feminine energy and you're not always logical like the masculine energy, right? You're mostly the emotional one the one that's intuitive the one that's into her feelings right right that's what feminine energy you know we trump in that more than we do in our masculine part because that's what makes us a woman or a lady right so you should respond to him the best way you know how the feminine way that you know how by telling him how you feel he said, what were you doing? Because that's the language he understands as far as expressing action. But your language that you should understand should be feeling. So when a guy says, what are you doing? You reply to how you are feeling. And so you let him experience you that way. And that's what I mean by opening up to him. So he says, what are you doing? You say, oh. I'm feeling so comfortable right now sitting in this chair speaking my truth and talking to others 
you know, this really is my passion and I light up when I can help other people. Just sharing my story, just sharing my story and just knowing that my story can just help one person. Oh, that feels so good to me. What are you doing? You see what I'm saying? So I just opened up to him. I let him inside. I gave him an inside view of me. Even for an interview, for example, that's what interviews are all about on a job. This don't have to apply just to a man. On a job, an interview is an inside view of you. These people on that panel, they want to know who you are. You know? So, with that being said, you do this every time you interact with a man and you practice this with your children if you have any, your family if you have any, <laughs> your girlfriends if you have any. When you talk to them and they ask you what you're doing, you get in feminine energy mode and tell people how you're feeling. That's how you open it up. You never, you never hold on to that, that precious gift of how you're feeling because that self-expression is coming from the abundance of the heart. This is why in the biblical text it says, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You see? So that's how, that's what it means when you're opening up your heart. You, you, you're opening up your heart so your mouth can speak. And so this trumps those women who when somebody asks them what is wrong, they say, oh, nothing. They're not opening up. They're closing the heart. They're closing the heart. But no, no, no. Let him experience the heart. This is also why, I'm not being ugly when I say this, but you know I do consultations and women say this to me and I know big, heavy set women and I've heard them say this too. And <laughs> they'll look at a ugly person, they'll even look at another uh, heavy set person and you know, judge them and be like, how in the heck so and so can get a man and I don't? You know? And even if you probably never heard a woman say that, you probably thought that at your lower self. And I believe, it is my belief, that those heavy set women. <laughs> Those not so look good looking women opened up their heart. Because see, when you open up that heart and you create that emotional bond, it's all for a man to leave you because you tapped into feminine energy. He wants to save your day. And so sometimes it's not, it's not all about the looks with a guy. It's the fact that that woman had feminine energy, which is something that is really rare because nobody ain't doing this here. We have so many people in the physical reality that are teaching people, you know, how to maybe level up and they're teaching them in a way that's really detrimental to themselves because they're teaching them as if they are already a prize, just come as you are kind of prize. They're overlooking, they're overlooking the fact that, okay, this woman is obese. This woman, she might need a little bit of makeup. This woman have a nasty attitude. This woman has a whole gang of children and she keep on having more and more and more children by different men. And so they're overlooking those things, but they're telling that the people, the feel good side of it. They want, they want to make sure that they, they support us, feel good. So they have a whole lot of supporters and they're telling them supporters like, you're the prize. You're sitting on the throne. The thing that you have between your legs is the most precious thing. Let me tell you something. They got women in a crazy house that got a thing between their legs. They have women with nasty attitudes that have a thing between their legs. They have women that have not mastered their mental or emotional state of being and that have issues that have a thing between their legs. But what is so rare what is so hard to find is that feminine energy woman that is in balance because she did the work on self. She did the work mentally and she knows how to create an experience. She knows how to bring that intuitive and emotional side to his logical <laughs> action. 
action side. And so together, that's a balance. Because she needs his logic, just like he needs her feminine energy and intuitiveness in her in her her feelings in a healthy state of being though because if it's unhealthy he gonna run away from it but if you have the ability to say to him like in the like if maybe if you don't like something he does you could say like i talk about the uncertainty you can say to him you know i feel uncertainty when when I don't speak to you for two two days, like let's say two days. If I don't speak to you and then two days pass, I start to feel a little uncertainty. And I would rather not feel that way because what it does to me is it makes me pull back. It makes me pull back and want to give you all the space that you need. Because I don't want to be a headache to you. I would rather be your peace. And so now you open up your heart. This is not about you falling in love with him. You are a healthy being, a healthy lady speaking your truth. What is there not to fall in love with? This, this trumps all of the cute makeup. This, this feminine energy, we, we got to get in tune to this side of us. Because it beats all of that other stuff. Just being naturally beautiful within. So if you're going to do the outside, make sure the inside done too. I'm not saying that the outside don't matter. I'm just saying that that feminine energy <laughs> is rare and it's going to make you stand out. The ability to express yourself. And picking your battles too because, you know, when you open up your heart, sometimes you want to express the fact that it didn't feel good. And which is okay. It's okay to express that, that which doesn't feel good because that came from your heart too and you don't want that stagnated energy in there. But here's the thing about that. You got to make sure that the feeling goods or overweighing the feeling bads that you're expressing. That's the key. That's the key. It should be like a, a 90-10 or maybe even a 95-5. to five. Make it as low of a percentage of the negative than the positive. You want to keep that, that low because of the simple fact that when you do have something to say that's not feeling so good, you get that person's attention because you're not a, a, a complainer. You don't normally complain. So let me let me share this with you, Doc. Other day, this is a great example for this. The other day, my son was telling me, he's like, I gotta do such and such because daddy told me to do such and such. And I gotta do it. And if I if I don't do such and such, he's gonna be mad at me. And I was I just looked at him and but he said it more than once. And so by the second or third, it was I think the third time he said it, because he he was just so adamant about doing this thing. I was like, you need to calm down. He's like, no, I don't want daddy to be mad at me. Like, what do you mean? It's okay. He was like, no, you don't understand. Daddy don't never get mad. He barely ever get mad. I was like, and eh, what's going to happen? You don't do that when I get mad about something that you didn't do, that I told you to do. And he was like, it's a difference. You don't understand. You, I done seen you get mad. You get mad five minutes later. You know, you over it and everything gonna be okay. Dad, I only seen daddy get mad maybe about two or three times and then he be quiet. <laughs> he be quiet when, it, when he mad. So I don't know what that dude be thinking or nothing. So I ain't even about to, I be feeling so bad. I don't even want to see him get mad. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but that is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Get to the place in your journey where you pick your battles of the not so uh, good feelings that you're expressing to them. And that way, when you do have a not so good feeling, he, all, 
he is like, well, she don't know. She don't know what to talk about. Things that don't feel, feel good. So I need to fix this. I need to save the day. You see? So that is very, very, very important. Very important. How you feel matters. But pick your battles in an effort to stay in your divine, feminine, soft, vulnerable way. And, and when you express yourself, that doesn't mean that that you uh, uh, you sit you sit back now and you're just watching him and waiting for him to just jump to go to fix it. No, you're expressing yourself in a healthy way. That was it. That was it. It's not about going back and say, see, I told you yesterday, da 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 da, and you ain't even care about no. It was about you speaking your truth in that moment and not holding that in. You see, that was doing more of the damage to you than than it was for him not fixing whatever it is you're really talking about. The damage comes in when we hold on to the energy because we are killing our Cells, or should I say, killing our cells, C E L L S, because inside of us, we're not expressing that truth, and it's almost like a knot is being built inside of us. And saying she's lying, she's deceiving, she's holding on to something, we're dying. We're not speaking the whole truth. We're being cast away. You see? But when you speak that truth, oh, the truth is going to set us free. Oh, we told them how we felt and that felt so good. It's really about the feeling. You came forth in physical reality only because of the feelings of evolving, the thrills, the chills, and the expansion. It is not about getting that overnight that you find joy in. When you get a car, it's about that moment when you think that you want a car, the longing for getting the car, the feelings of what it, it would feel like when you get in the car, how the car looks, and this and that and the third. You get the car and you're like, oh yeah, the car outside, I need some gas and that thing. So enjoy your feeling. Enjoy your feminine energy. Express it. Let people know what's inside of this, your heart. Let them know. Let them know how beautiful you are in here. Because you're letting them know that you can find beauty in the midst of chaos. Life outside is not going to always be a sunny day, but you can find beauty even in the midst of the storm. Perfect example is today is supposed to, a storm is supposed to come tonight. And in the midst of my storm, if somebody was to call me and ask me what I'm doing right now, they probably prepare for a storm. I already did that. So if, they, if a man will call me and ask me what am I doing, I can say, oh, it feels, it feels like a beautiful day. The wind is blowing. And I feel the peace of the calm before the storm. So much peace that I got up and I and I um I adorned myself and and I went in my room and I, I did a video that really shined light on the feminine energy inside of me. And it felt good doing that video. Because I felt like that video was gonna touch somebody and help somebody that never probably thought that way. It was a video about opening up their heart, you know? Yeah, I want to share that the little black girls, you know, to my lower self because I feel like she's listening. It would have been thrilling if I would have had somebody on a YouTube channel that would have shared these things with me as a little girl, but I didn't. But I'm gonna be the change. I'm gonna be the change that I always wanted for little girls to come to maybe my nieces, maybe my grandchildren will one day watch my videos. How cool is that? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. That's what I, I was doing. 
in the midst of the storm. You see, you gotta find that good, that good in those emotions. It's just that's the thing that's gonna keep you in relationships. The good is the emotional experiences is, you know, it really is. And because it shines light on the youthful side of you, you're not like an old hag in a relationship complaining. It's more youthful and fun that way. It's fun for you because you're releasing the energy. And it's fun for the people who are experiencing you. That's who's having fun. And you want to create that fun in relationships because you want to almost have that girlfriend type experience before you even a girlfriend. You know? You know when you were like teenagers and you would stay on the phone all night with that guy that you liked and it was fun and cool. It was fun and cool because you was feminine energy and you was creating emotional, exciting, mysterious experiences. And masculine energy, it, it's hard to, to, to turn away from somebody that's in that place. Somebody that masculine energy looks upon as if she needs me. I don't want to disappoint her. I don't want to dim her light. Because she's coming to me, seemingly, just like in the biblical text, she's coming to me as a child. <laughs> She's coming to me as a child talking about, oh, I'm, I'm so excited. And oh, look, uh, look at this. This feels so much fun. And here we go. Such and such place. Please, 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 let's go. All those thrills and chills of feminine energy that is brought to the dynamic of a relationship, you can't turn around from that. He'll love you. He'll love you. He'll love you when you open up your heart and show him a part of you that he doesn't operate in all the time. He has the yin and yang inside of him. But he operates in the masculine mode more than the feminine mode. But if you bring that feminine peace to him, That scripture says, if you do not come to source energy as a child, you will not make it to the kingdom. Let's tear that down a little bit and say it this way. If you do not bring feminine energy to the dynamic of a relationship with a masculine energy being. You would not make it into a healthy, successful relationship. This video, once again, was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe. Goodbye. So I need to talk.